you feel the presence of your friends you feel the presence of your children you feel the presence of your pain your problems all the time you are worrying but you do not know how to feel the presence of god in fact you are not able to feel your own presence because he is in you he is not outside you in earth air water fire ether is ram in the heart mind prana and senses is in the brain blood nerves is ram god in the form of omnipresence is everywhere but why don't we feel him i knew a lot about it i have written books i have spoken for hours together i did lot of japa i'm talking about myself lakhs and crores of japa i did lot of mantra writing lot of mantra writing all the pilgrim places i have visited but the divine presence i did not know how to get into i was aware of divine presence that there is something called divine presence but i did not know how to have it and even today i don't know how to have it but i have it why a donkey is born or why a dog is born or why a snake incarnates and why does a man incarnate what is the purpose of nature behind it creating and evolving the human incarnation the human body precisely for manifesting the unmanifest god religions all religions christianity or islam or buddhism they are product of a super mind they are misused by politicians you know that very well but just because they are used misused by politicians we sh- we should never think against a religion we should be able to metabolize it i use the word metabolize it <laughs> let god come in many forms let god come in thousands of forms just as you want many models of shoes and many models of clothes many models of telephones many models of cars so let there be hundreds of models of god also <laughs> <laughs> choose any one they have chosen christ okay you have chosen hanuman all right you have chosen devi perfect your rishis and your muni your wise men have given you the permission to follow any religion to talk of any religion to believe in any religion to worship in any form your ancestors have given you full permission you cannot you, you nobody can say you why do you read bible are why not is my right my ancestors have said you can read bible why should i not pray like this why not kyun ji your shees your muni your wise men have permitted you to worship god in any form in the shade of any religion to follow the dictums of every religion to recognize every religious philosopher or a prophet is the right approach no jihad and no crusade i don't say that my way is the only way no my way is one of the ways
Each year at the Satchandi festival, different religions are featured. This reflects the philosophy of Swami Satyananda, that we can all find common ground and friendship by not only respecting, but also by paying homage to each other's gods, beliefs, stories and rituals. This year Krishna is celebrated. Hindus have found for a very long time, for not th centuries, for thousands of years of experience of this race, that God should be seen as a reality. If you love your child, he is your God. If you love your girlfriend, she is Radha for you. But yesterday, it was the depiction of a man who lived as a man, but he was a superman, perfect man, Purushottam, Purna Purush, who did incarnate in this country many thousand years ago at the end of the cycle of Dwapar Yuga. Now this is Kali Yuga, huh? that at the end of the Dwapar Yuga. In order to achieve, in order to accomplish a lot of things. In order to achieve a lot of things. Dharma Samsthapana Arthaya, that was what? Vinashaya Chadushkritam, that was another accomplishment. To destroy the evil, to reconstruct the good, he incarnated and his name was Krishna. Religion, it is not Hinduism, it is not Christianity, it is nothing. Love is a personal feeling. Love is a personal accomplishment. Love is a personal necessity. Either you love the fleeting life or you love the eternal one. There, Lord Krishna is a child, but he is full of his divinity. So that is the story with sweetness, with all the melody, with all that we can understand. We should have relationship with God in a way that we can understand Him as you understand your son, as you understand your father, as you understand your brother, or as you understand anyone else. God should be understood first. If you start with the hypothesis, is God is agaya, unknowable, problem. It's a problem. God is unknowable, agaya. No, no. God is knowable. 